Alright, today's video is going to be with Sideshow Collectibles, The X-Files, um, Special Agent FBI John Doggett. You can already tell who the character is by looking at the box. There's the top flap here. Side. And then the back. So the character. Some reading. reading and it pictures of two of the other characters and there's the figure itself to do a quick thing let's just do a qu quick thing with the accessories it comes with a Headset that connects and goes around the head and all that. The wires and all that connect to the a walkie-talkie that fits that fits inside the pouch here. There you go. I guess you can't really tell, but let's see. Yeah, you can't, but they have all the little buttons sculpted on, and even the little numbers on this little white part here. He also comes with his watch flashlight here flashlight and his gun and as you can tell right now he has a well the gun and a removable clip so you just take that and pop it in and you can also maybe it's the wrong gun yep wrong gun I was thinking this part of the gun moved back but I'm thinking of my other, I'm thinking of the Leon figure I have. Since we're here on the face, do a quick look at the face. Detailing on the head, hair, and all the facial features look real good. Everything's pretty close to the actor himself. He's got a black t-shirt here. You can see the sleeves. That is like a a vest. You can see it looks pretty good. Nice quality and all that. Workable, usable, not workable, usable pockets here. A pair of black pants, shoes, or oh, boots, yeah. Boots, black pants, vest, and shirt. That covers his clothing, but for accessories, I forgot two things. Well, almost forgot two things. Little cantina here, which I'm not sure where to put on the figure. And another gun right here. Just like the handgun has a removable clip, snaps in and out pretty easy. 
and this part pops out back here. And of course the strap. And since he's one of the older statue figures, he's going to have all the standard articulation movement, which is the head, wrist, forearm, elbow, shoulder, um, rib cage, which is about right here, torso, legs. I think it's the mid thighs here, knees, and feet. And if you have other satchel figures, you can also swap his hands out with another character. So if you have like Star Wars hands, um, Vampire Slayer hands, whatever kind of hands, you can swap them out. The accessories it comes with are pretty neat, but there's nothing really too much. Just a flashlight, head headset, two guns, and a cantina. And a stand, which you've probably seen already. It just says the X-Files. The quality of the pants seem pretty, pretty standard with all the other all 12 inch figures kind of remind me of the pants that they have for their for their Abraham Lincoln figure boots pretty nice whoop can't see it boots look pretty nice The material used on the shirt is pretty good as well. It's kind of like has a little bit of a stretch to it and a little bit of a shine. So it looks it's looks like it's decent quality. The vest looks like it's pretty well built. He has the zipper up front and if you can see it like laces, so you can tie it in, make it tight looser whatever so the vest and sh well for me the figure the clothing from the waist on up is pretty good waist on down is pretty standard so of course like all the other characters well lately did you give it a score out of 10 I'm going to have to give it um 7 out of 10 nice figure good sculpting on the head but just the pants seem kind of cheap boots well yeah the boots and pants are pretty standard for 12 inch characters the well for me it's always been the stiffness on the neck as well actually never mind with that so 7.5 out of 10 most sexual characters they have had that have a little bit of a problem Posing the head and stuff like it's a little stiff, but as you can tell, he's pretty poseable with the neck and all that. But he has lack of accessories, nothing really all that great. Would have been nice if the guns had a little well, he had a gun if it had that little re recoil action, but that's not a big deal. Standard body for a sideshow character. The shoulders on mine are a tad bit loose. Nothing too bad that's going to affect any pose posability, but, well, as of right now, it's not going to affect it, but later on down the line, it might be kind of bad. This pouch on a vest, I'm, I might not have done, might not, blah, blah, blah. I might not have done it right, but when I get the walkie-talkie in there, it's kind of, like, hangs out this way, so it's not connect to, connected, which is why I have it behind this behind the, the hook thing to keep it in place so pretty much with this figure if you're a fan of sideshow stuff or the X-Files or the actor huh 
eyes look a little cross-eyed or something to, for a second, but might be the lighting. Oh well. Fan of the show, fan of Sideshow, fan of the actor. Go ahead, well, you have two choices. You can pick this figure up, or you can pick up the standard one with the with his suit and all that suit and coat. It's really your preference on that. So 7.5 out of 10. I like the character. And I like the show, so I I can kind of rec rec recommend it. But if you don't like the show and whatever, then of course you're not going to want to get it. Time's running short. That's going to be it. Hope I didn't forget anything. So that's it.